unfortunately, we having a little bit more luck than Taylor had previously. Having said that, though, when a bird positions itself like this, it can be difficult to say who it is. However, this specific species of eagles have got very large heads, and they also sit with a very upright posture. So even though we can't see a lot of its characteristic features, the way it's perched at the moment, we can see it's got quite a bulbous head and a very good upright posture, which indicates to me that it is a snake eagle. Now that we can see its bright yellow eye, that's another key characteristic. And as their name suggests, they are snake hunting experts. It's not the only animal they eat, but you could say it's their preferred diet. With a lot of predators, they will have kind of favorite meals, but will often feed on other things. I'm sure these guys will feed on lizards and small rodents as well. But snakes do form the majority of their diets. And wouldn't it be an incredible thing to witness them snatching a snake off the ground and then having to deal with it after they've latched onto it. I mean, a snake, depending on its size, it's, I mean, they varying degrees of a long animal. So if they latch onto the middle of the snake's body, obviously the dangerous end, the head can still strike out at the bird. And they've actually, I can't remember who it was, but I remember seeing a fascinating clip from somewhere in the Sabi Sands where there was a snake eagle attacking a black mamba. And then I think it was Tundi. One of the female leopards came in and I don't know if she ended up eating the bird and the snake or what exactly happened, but that was a, a fascinating sighting had between three fascinating predators, snake, eagle, and leopard. And that is the joy of being out on safari. You get these strange things that happen from time to time. And these days with technology, the good thing is a lot of people get to capture it as a lot of the things that do happen out here are almost not possible to be believed unless you actually see footage of it. And it's helping us to piece together the interesting dynamics that do occur out here. Now, like I said earlier with the black-shouldered kites, the birds are probably going to be waiting a little bit longer, another half an hour or an hour for things to heat up. I've noticed that bird has got a very short tail, and it does. It does appear to have quite a short tail. I'm wondering if this possibly isn't a juvenile. Its tail may become longer as it gets a bit older. I do indeed. I've...